Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorin. Thank you so much for always coming back. I hope this channel is truly blessing you. Please leave a comment. Let me know that you are indeed blessed. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. Today, God says I should tell you focus. He is doing a new thing. God says focus. He is doing a new thing. God says you should not dwell on the things of past, on the things of old. He says you should dwell on what he is doing now. He says, can't you see? He is doing a new thing. This, this word is coming from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19. I paraphrase. God says, do not dwell on the things of past. He says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Can't you see it? It springs forth now. He says, I am making way, a, a, a way in the wilderness and I, and I am making rivers to flow in the desert. Hallelujah. God says the problem why you have you you can't see the new thing that he's doing why you can't see what he's doing why you can't even realize that it's a new dawn is because you have been too dwell you have been dwelling so much on the past you have been dwelling so much on the bad things that have happened you have been dwelling so much on the negative things on the painful experiences that you've been through he says you've got to focus on what he is doing yes yesterday was hard it's okay yesterday was bad it's okay he says he knows it he says but more important than yesterday is that which he's doing right now which you can't see because you are only focused behind he says your focus should be on what he's doing he says weeping might have tarried through the night but joy is coming now in the morning but the problem is that you cannot even see that it is time to be joyful because you are still so focused on on the weeping that tarried in the night he says focus on the morning focus on the morning because the morning requires joy because it is only with joy that you can draw from the wells of salvation it is only with joy that's why you've got to realize that now is a is a new dawn now is a new moment god is doing a new thing focus on what god is doing not what the devil did not what your enemies did not what your mockers did not the storm that life brought you away focus god says i should tell you focus he says behold can't you see it it springs for now it springs for now it is springing for now not tomorrow now 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 not tomorrow God says the new thing that is doing is going to nullify every other painful experience you've ever had in time past. So stop looking behind. Look ahead of you. Focus on what the new thing is. He says, Peter, until if, if you can only focus on him and concentrate on his word because he commanded you to come, you will be able to walk on that water, on that stormy water until you walk right to Jesus. But the moment you leave your focus and you go back to looking at the stormy waters that you guys were dealing with, the moment you go back to looking at the storm that you guys were dealing with, that's when you begin to sink. And that's when you feel like the word of God is not working. That's when you begin to feel like the command of Jesus for you to come is not is not working he says focus on his word focus on him what has he told you that's what he is doing right now focus on it irrespective of what the world brings irrespective of what life brings irrespective of what the devil throws at you focus I hope this word bless someone may the Lord bless you and keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you shalom